Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, hello, my name is Skylar. I'm a certified dog trainer and pet nutritionist and my dog has heterochromia. As some of you may know from YouTube thumbnails, videos, Instagram content, whatever, I have a white husky named Misty and you may have noticed something a little bit different about her eyes. I mostly get questions about this in person. When people tend to look at Misty, one of the very first things they notice is that she has two different colored eyes. She's a brown eye and she's a blue eye. After noticing, people usually have like a 50-50 split of how they react. They either think that it's super cool and beautiful and stunning and they compliment her on it and it's great. The other 50% ask things like, is she blind? Is she okay? Is she sick? Can she hear? And so today we're going to be talking a little bit about this phenomenon, heterochromia, what it means, different types, why it's so common in some dogs and not others, and to answer the biggest question, can my dog hear and see? Is she okay? So heterochromia is the scientific term for two different eyes. So hetero meaning different in chromia colors. Heterochromia can affect dogs, cats, horses, and even people. Heterochromia is caused by a lack of pigment melanin in the eye, which can cause it to look gray or white or bluey. And especially in dogs, it's usually hereditary, but it can certainly be caused by things like eye injuries or illnesses down the line. This means if your dog was born this way, it's probably hereditary and it's probably gonna be totally fine, but if your dog starts to develop heterochromia later in life, it's definitely a good idea to go get them checked out by the vet because it could be injury or sickness. It can also be confused for things like cataracts as your dogs get older. So again, any changes to your dog's eyes, definitely take them into the vet to get them checked out. Cause it's always better to be safe than sorry. Now there are three different types of heterochromia. My dog Misty has complete heterochromia, which means that one eye is completely brown and her other eye is completely blue. So that's complete heterochromia, the whole, affected eye is completely a different color. There's also sectoral heterochromia, which means that a part of the eye is affected. So this is where sometimes you'll see pictures of dogs where it's almost like their eyes split in half and one half of the eye is brown and the other half of the eye is blue, or maybe just a little pie slice is blue, maybe all but a little bit's blue. That's all considered sectoral heterochromia. Lastly, there's central heterochromia. This is where kind of the inside right next to the pupil is gonna have that loss of pigment, that blue coloring. And then as you expand across the eye, it tends to get a lot darker. So it's only just that middle piece that kind of star patterns out into more normal eyes. Now you may notice that you see heterochromia in certain breeds way more than you see them in others. So there are some breeds that are more genetically disposed to having heterochromia. Generally it's more common for dogs with dappled merle or white coats or specifically around the face to have heterochromia than it is for others, but that doesn't necessarily mean exclusively only merle, dappled, or white headed dogs. There's also a difference between the breeds that are more predisposed to complete heterochromia, like Misty is, rather than central or sectoral heterochromia. It's more common for breeds like Huskies or Dalmatians or Australian Shepherds or cattle dogs to have that complete heterochromia, one eye is all blue, the other eye is all brown. Whereas breeds like Border Collies, Chihuahuas, Great Danes, Dachshunds, Shetland Sheepdogs, and Shih Tzus are all more commonly found with other varieties of heterochromia, whether it be the sectoral or the central. So the big question, is my dog okay? Because Misty has heterochromia, is she more likely to have health issues? Is she blind? Is she deaf? So first, can my dog see? It's a question I get really, really regularly, and it's one of those kind of myths or misconceptions, or maybe even just concerns, that's pretty common, is if you see a dog with one eye that's drastically different from the other, you tend to wonder if they can see. But again, if your dog has hereditary heterochromia, it, their sight's probably totally fine and totally normal. That's the case with Misty. Um, if it's something that's developed later on, again, take them to the vet, absolutely, because that can be a sign of an injury to the eye or a underlying health condition that's causing that. So, most cases, if they're born that way, yes, they probably can see, majority of the time, I'm sure there's exceptions, just like there is to most things, but majority can see. If it develops later in life, 1000% go to the vet. Can my dog hear? Um, a lot of times blue eyes are associated with hearing problems, and while that definitely can be the case in some breeds, it is not an overarching rule. 
So I would say majority of the time, if your dog does have heterochromia, studies have found their hearing is probably not affected. However, there are exclusions to this. First, you can have a deaf dog with heterochromia. That happens. However, if you have a Dalmatian with heterochromia or with blue eyes, they are more likely to be deaf. And that is just a breed-wide thing. Um, Dalmatians do have a really, really high chance of being deaf within the breed compared to other breeds. And I can go into designer dogs and how we kind of ruin dog breeds in a later video. Let me know if you're interested in that down below. But unfortunately, Dalmatians do fall into that category where I wouldn't say the majority of them with heterochromia have deafness, but it is more common for that to be the case than it is with other breeds. So to wrap up kind of the big takeaways of this video, if your dog does have heterochromia, congratulations. It's super cool. It's fun. It's a conversation starter. Um, if your dog does not have heterochromia, that's totally okay. I'm like there's other things that make your dog special and unique and different and fun and those my dog Misty she can hear she can see she's totally fine if your dog does start to develop cloudiness or a change in eye color or any of those things as they get older even if they're young if they just randomly start developing these things please take your dog to the vet it could be injury it could be illness it could be cataract glaucoma any of those kinds of things and any differences in your dog's eyes definitely should be checked out by a vet. And kind of last but not least, and it kind of ties into my allusion to the Dalmatian situation, while these things are hereditary and can be seen as desirable among certain people who want that unique look, it should definitely be taken into consideration that sometimes we as humans uh, breed things that aren't necessarily with the best interest of the dog in mind. So with that, designer dogs, designer breeds, designer looks come in and out of fashion, and that can cause a lot of health problems. For example, if I were a irresponsible breeder and I really, really wanted all of my dogs, or as many dogs as I could have, to have heterochromia, and I was specifically trying to breed for that, I'm probably not as concerned about health and temperament as I am with the eyes, if that's the whole like goal of my business is dogs with heterochromia. I'm a big believer that dogs of any variety should always, 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 always be bred with the health of the dog first. Health and temperament are the two biggest things. I personally do not care what my dog looks like. I care that they are as healthy as they can be and that their temperament is good. We can get into that in a whole separate video. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in. Um, but that's something that I'm very, very passionate about. And I think in situations like this need to be addressed. We did not pick Misty because she had heterochromia. The heterochromia was just a fun bonus. Definitely her health and temperament were the biggest factors of picking her over a sibling for example. That is why my dog has two different colored eyes. I hope you learned something about heterochromia today. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a dog or you've had a dog that has heterochromia, whether it be complete or sectoral or central. Be sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. We do a lot of training and behavior and information videos on here that you may be interested in. You can also follow me on social media to see more pictures of my dogs. You can follow me at tattoo.dogtrainer on Instagram. That's going to be more of my personal side of things. Um, you're going to get the most pictures of my dogs there. You can also follow me on Top Dog Behavior, which is my business account. You're going to get more training and nutrition stuff there. So feel free to follow if you'd like. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!